Hey there, fellow adult collectors. Welcome back. Just uh, another quick conversation here. Hi. <laughs> David Eon and the gorgeous Miss Lady Pop Hunter sharing a conversation we've been, been having with you. <laughs> and this comes out of a video that we saw on another channel mm -hmm. where this guy... And we're talking about, obviously, you can tell from the title, lowballing on eBay. Should you do it? Is it ethical? If so, how much? Pros and cons, basically. Mm -hmm. This guy says, not only should you lowball, mm -hmm. but you should really grind it in there. You should pitch those balls so low you're hitting people in the shins. Uh, that you should no, you yeah. exaggerate. I'm not no. exaggerating. He said hit him, hit him low, go as low as you possibly can. <laughs> and I have to admit, I take issue with that. Mm -hmm. I take issue with it because I have sold on eBay, and because we're coming to a point where you're going to stop seeing so much on eBay. eBay is going to be taking hits, in my opinion. They're going to be losing a lot of sellers because of the new tax laws. They're kind of in a catch-22, if you will, eBay, because they're being forced to enforce very strict tax codes. A lot of the people, a lot of the sellers on eBay's, if you're going to, uh, from the point of collectors, you're looking for toys, you're looking for comic books, you know, you're looking for trading cards, whatever you're into. A lot of the people that are selling this stuff is just your average guy. They're not really a store. It's not really a business. They're just someone who has some extra stuff or maybe they need the money or maybe they use the money to feed it into their hobby. And because of the new strict tax codes, eBay is losing a lot of these sellers. They're starting to move away from eBay because it's too much. Um, they've gone from like you could sell up to 20,000 mm -hmm. before they would report you with a W-2 form to $600 in one season. Mm -hmm. That quick. That's how strict this is. Plus their sales tax, plus the regular eBay fees, which have gone up because they're losing sellers because of the new tax codes. So when you're, most of the time, when you're buying your action figure or your comic, on eBay, and I've sold on eBay before, it's just an average person. It's not a business. So from my perspective, when you, uh, I mean, I can understand making a low offer or making a, a feel it out offer, but to really go in there, it's insulting to the seller. And I've actually spoken to a few sellers that are so frustrated with that and so insulted by it they will actually block a lot of people for uh, for doing that and I mean I know what you think of, of lowballing what you think of lowballing and what I'm talking about might be two different things well I don't agree because um, a lot of people are, are scalpers and they're that's selling true too. stuff that's in the stores right now. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make any sense for and and I'll just throw Marvel Legends out there. Okay. Um the Marvel Legend is in the store for twenty five dollars. They have it on eBay for fifty. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You know, so if they're paying all this extra fees, that's on them because they should have left it in the store. Yeah. So normal people that actually want it can get it. Um, on eBay, I rarely buy new things mm -hmm. on eBay. I refuse because it should be in the store. So normally, I just won't get it at all. Or I'll wait. And if you wait, sometimes it comes back. Now, the things I will buy on eBay toy-wise is... Um, Stuff that are, is out of stock, you know, like vintage stuff, stuff that was made 2000s and earlier. Yeah. And if they have a, a, a offer, and let's say it's $75, I'll usually offer 60 Just because I'm like, okay, maybe they'll uh -huh. give me a, um, 
uh, a counter offer. I always expect them to give me a counter offer. Now, if it's $75, I'm not going to offer $20. Mm -hmm. I think that's a lowball offer. Yeah. And, you know, now you're just being ridiculous. Um, but if it's reasonable, you know, I'll do that. Or sometimes the seller might have more than one item and I'll round it all off. Well, I'll add them all up and I'll tell, okay, if I was to buy all this, it's going to cost that much. Will you sell it all to me for this price? Yeah. And usually they go for that because they're getting rid of a lot of stuff at one time and they can ship it all at once to one seller. Um, but, um, you know, I, I don't really feel too bad for the scalpers. You know, <laughs> you, 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 you want to go to SDCC and buy yourself something and um, at SDCC is a hundred dollars, and they got it on eBay for eight hundred dollars. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Somebody's you know? willing to pay it. That's the problem. And, and that is the, That's problem. the problem. The people that are willing to pay that, instead yeah. of saying, "I really don't have to have that in my collection." Yeah, you don't have because to. Because that's where where I've gotten to. You know, because. Even when I was deeper into Funko and I wanted some, and I would buy it Funko on eBay, but if it was um, more than a certain price, I would not buy it. Mm -hmm. No matter how much I wanted it, I would just watch it, and a lot of times the prices came down. But, um, you know, I think you should throw an offer out there. And it was sometimes I threw an offer out, and I thought it was low, and the person accepted it. So sometimes you don't know. Sometimes they come back with an with a counter mm -hmm. sometime they don't you know you just got to kind of go with it yeah but you're talking about negotiating yeah as opposed to a straight up lowball like what was being recommended by this uh unnamed youtuber i'm not gonna mm -hmm. i'm not gonna start a feud or anything but i mean like uh because uh, from my perspective again Mm -hmm. so having sold on eBay before and primarily doing it just to feed into my own hobby not to really get rich or anything but sometimes you're taking a beating anyways yeah uh, an example I'm thinking of is um, God I know somebody who had what was his name Jorel mm -hmm. Jorel from the Hot Toys Superman mm -hmm. and I think originally wasn't that like $200 or something was yeah. the original Hot Toys price way back in the day and it had it's one of the more unpopular uh, um, hot toys, even though it actually looks pretty good if you've ever seen it. And I think it was down to like less than a hundred dollars oh, wow. on the average, yeah, what it was selling for. So let's say you have somebody who's got Jorel. He needs money for something, okay? Um, he needs repair for his vehicle, and yeah. he's like, oh god, I guess I'll just have to sell this looks and sees that it's only getting about a hundred dollars with the postage and you know 90 plus shipping or whatever 85 plus shipping is like oh my god so basically he's only going to recover less than half of what he invested in the first place mm -hmm. so he puts it out there for uh 90 dollars plus whatever for postage or best offer and then uh happy go lucky comes along and gives him an offer for 12 dollars <laughs> that's a smack in the face this guy's already taken a loss big time yeah he's like oh you not only uh, at that rate not only am i losing all my money i'm paying someone to take it away because now i mean if he sold it for say he sold it for a hundred dollars mm -hmm. after 15 bucks in ebay fees and taxes he's only getting 85 anyway but i think just like on um <laughs> YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, you got trolls. And I, I honestly believe you got trolls on eBay. eBay. Sure. They're saying, like, like let's say you, that example, the guy want $90 for the figure, they offer him 12 just mm -hmm. to, like, mess with them and probably get a little back and forth conversation just to piss the person off. Which is also probably why, uh, like I said, some sellers I've spoken to said that they'll actually block those people. So yeah. they can't even bid because on their auctions anymore. It's it's not beneath people. If you're gonna get on YouTube and watch a channel yeah. 
uh, uh, you, you are atheist and you watching a Christian channel, why you wasted your time? And it's the same on eBay. You know you don't collect toys. Why <laughs> even go pull up something? You know, just to make it. There offer. are people who do stuff like that. Like on this yeah. channel, we've had people. Some of the toy discussions that we've done, mm -hmm. people uh, make comments like, "Oh, that's just for rich, decadent people wasting their time buying toys, and they should be all grown up." And it's like, why are you watching this? Uh, yeah, why, why did you, you waste this, your uh, time even video at all? Pulling it up. Yeah, you, you did, know, <laughs> you're just commenting just so you could be a prick. Yeah, but, but um, we still got the views in the comments. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> win win. Yeah, win win. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, I think a lot of those people, some of them, uh -huh. are trolls. Now you got some real ones like, um, like I'll say, oh man, that was seventy five dollars. I offered fifty five uh -huh. or something, and they took that's it. That's not you know, too far. That's off. not too far yeah. off, um, or something. Or sometimes I ask for. Uh, you know, lower on the shipping or something like yeah. that. Some people put some ridiculous stuff on shipping. On like, postage, what yeah. you trying to do? Um, they're they're hoping. Well, back in the day, mm -hmm. if anyone ever wondered why that happens, once upon a time, um, the shipping was counted as a completely separate entity, and it wasn't subject to fees. Oh. So if you sold something for $10 and you had $15 shipping, but it was only really only going to cost 8 to post, mm -hmm. right? So that's $7 in your pocket oh. that's not going to get, uh, they're not going to charge fees on, mm -hmm. on eBay. Oh, but eBay's gotten wise to that by now. Mm -hmm. So now they, uh, now they charge fees on that too. <laughs> <laughs> they charge fees on, on the it. postage. Yeah, and it's it's going to get, yeah. And so why even use the eBay postage? Why just, just go into get, the post office? You get a, a actually pretty steep discount oh. you, uh, doing your postage online through eBay's service because uh, the post office and FedEx and UPS, for that matter, count that mm -hmm. as like a bulk uh, conglomerated purchase through a service so since oh. it's going through that service and we know we're going to get all this business mm -hmm. we'll give you sometimes huge percentages off it's oh. you'd be surprised how much off you can get doing it through uh through ebay instead of just printing it yourself or even using another printing service like stamps.com or something but i mean are you making that that big of a a, a benefit if they're going to charge you fees yeah Oh, okay. You still because it's only still only going to be about fifteen around fifteen percent, but like I said, also nowadays it's getting harder, mm -hmm. and I think we're going to be it's another topic of discussion. But I think we're going to be seeing the death of the independent seller on eBay and all, a lot of these other places because it's just not worth it. it it's uh, especially when you consider if you're turning around and you're selling your own private property your mm -hmm. own to i bought these i got this at a yard sale i got this at a convention whatever you can't itemize that because you can't prove what you paid for it yeah so uh, as far as the irs is concerned that's 100 percent profit mm -hmm. and so that like i said a lot of these independent individual sellers hobbyists people just trying to make some money they get a, a car repair they got to do or something like that it's hurting them and then on top of it, that which was the topic of discussion, you got somebody coming in and just really hitting you right in the nuts with their offer, <laughs> pitching it right in your groin. Um, I've got this, you know, the last one on eBay sold for 300 The average price on X toy or X comic is $300. i have got it for 280 or best offer, and you give me an offer of like $45, <laughs> you know, Please don't ever bother me again. Go yeah. away. But again, you've got people that they try to encourage you to do that. And I can understand, you know, maybe you want to spit in the eye of somebody who is a uh, who is a, a scalper yeah. or a flipper, as they're sometimes referred to. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of people, that ain't the case. And some of these people are people that like, because we hear from a lot of them, uh, NECA collectors, Funko collectors, even Legends collectors, uh, Star Wars Black Series, mm -hmm. where something happened where they had to get rid of their whole collection or they got tired of it or they wanted yeah. to invest it in something else and so they're turning their collection over again. But they're still going to pay taxes and fees yeah. and then taxes again when eBay dumps a W-2 <laughs> on them now 
for sales over 600 in a year and and then you're gonna you're gonna insult them with like these really uh, creepy like back alley low jump <laughs> low low balls <laughs> I know I like I said as a seller it just frustrates me I mean I know what you're saying because yeah, yeah. me as a buyer I look for a deal but I'm not going to mm -hmm. do all that. You she know, ain't dirty but, about it. She's just trying no, to negotiate. I do try to negotiate. Yeah. And sometimes I'll put the price down in hopes that I'm going to get a counter. Sure. You know, if I if I put it down, like, man, that's low. Well, maybe they're a counter. Sometimes they do. Um, sometimes the people are just accept. But it depends on, I guess, what the person is doing and what they're going through at the time. But, um... That was the argument that was being made on this other video, by the way, that sparked the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. Was it like, yeah, some people are so desperate to get rid of it, they'll just uh, take it just to get rid of the item. And it's like, yeah, but is is that really fair? Because you don't know who you're dealing with or what their but, situation is. But to that point in that video, the guy was talking about new things that are in the store. Because he collects new stuff. New stuff yeah. that are in the store or mm -hmm. should be in the store. And that, I think, should be looked at differently. Mm -hmm. If something should be in the store or on um, Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toys or wherever, it's, it's current. It should be available to you. And you can only find it on eBay. I have no qualms with that. I think you should try to rake them through the coals. <laughs> because they shouldn't, people shouldn't <laughs> do that. They know... Yeah. Um, there's a market out there and they're taking advantage of people because they know they got people that are impulsive and people that are impatient and they're not going to wait. They're, they're impulsive. They want that now, 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 because mm -hmm. we live in that society where everything is instant, instant gratification. And, yeah. And I got to yeah. have it now. So they know if they go to Walmart and they buy all of that off of the shelf, all the Marvel legend, the black series or whatever, off the shelf and put it up on eBay, they're going to make their money plus. But I'm talking about um, stuff that you can't find, all this vintage stuff that we love um, that you can't find. Now, I don't blowball that. I don't encourage you because those people most likely... That's out of their personal collection. Mm -hmm. They had it for a long time. Some of them are dealers. Some of them are. Yeah. And you can tell if they are. You can tell if you look at, um, you, you click where it says uh, seller's other items or yeah. seller's store. Yeah. And they have like 9,400 things listed. They're probably a dealer. <laughs> yeah. Most likely they are. But if they got like, 10 things and it's all the same thing yeah. you're like okay this person this is their private collection yeah. and they need to they need to sell um i'll look usually with that person i look i see if it's something else i try to get a bundle together and um you know i talk to them and then you can talk back and forth because it's like oh this person is a collector and they're thinking oh this person is a collector we can work something out and that makes a difference mm -hmm. it does make a difference and there have been a few times where i've uh, i've been in communication with someone trying to sell something and it's something that they collect and they've been looking for mm -hmm. and i'll just you know uh, um camaraderie one collector to another be like yeah you know what i'll do it for that price don't worry about it mm -hmm. or also if it's a foreign bidder mm -hmm. sometimes they go a little bit lower because the international shipping is going to kill them mm -hmm. you know especially if they use the global shipping program and i know a lot of people that are in foreign countries they're like oh please don't uh select global shipping program for uh for your international sales mm -hmm. american sellers are kind of railroaded into that by uh by ebay mm -hmm. sometimes that's our our best option you know what if you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but um if you, if somebody's from like canada or they're from the uk or something and they're going a little bit lower and then i look and i see where they are i'm like oh of course mm -hmm. you know they're gonna end up spending an extra 40 bucks for the postage they're, they're trying to they're trying to nail it the best they can knowing what they have to work with and I'll be like you know what yeah you can have it I don't I'm not gonna worry about it and mm -hmm. I've done that uh, plenty of times with uh, with people I know are collectors mm -hmm. because I just I understand <laughs> I, I do
and I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, uh, I think it's uh, it can be it can be really unethical. It can be kind of dirty uh, to to just really play games with people and gouge them like that. But it goes both but, ways. Yeah. Like I said, it it can be. It I depends. Think, yeah, it depends because some of the people that do those super low balls, like what you're talking about, mm-hmm. I think they can they could be trolls. And that's that's uh, that's probable. Yeah. But then sometimes, like, and I've shown you this, you see an item, uh, and they want like ten thousand dollars for it. Oh, that's a drug deal. <laughs> that's that's money that's laundering. That's money laundering. That's what that is. <laughs> when you see, <laughs> it gotta be because you know good and well that no, um, I don't know, because this I can't remember what There's it was, but things. I showed it to you. And it doesn't make any no, sense at because all. if you look everywhere, he man mint on the card. $24,000. Yeah. And you looking everywhere else on eBay and it's going for $200, but they want $25,000. You're like, uh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> you're going to get that. That's, sure you Scarface will. is buying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is this is some some, some uh, shady scheming going on with yeah, the Yeah, some with underhanded the, you stuff. You see some of that on Amazon too. Where you look at like other sellers on Amazon, you, mm-hmm. you're buying a DVD or something. It's like, uh, oh, Amazon's uh, prime price is seven dollars and forty cents. Other sellers and they get them like used three ninety nine, mm-hmm. whatever. And you look, go to the end of that list, and some of those discs yeah. are like eight thousand, ten thousand, <laughs> and it's like, who the hell are these people? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's uh, El Chapo. That's that that's going south of the border. To uh, to some like <laughs> cocaine farm or something, cocoa leaves. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wonder about that. Yeah. Those are the guys that you. It's okay for you to send them an offer of like fourteen cents to. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna ignore you. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they'll. T- <laughs> Maybe they'll no, take it. I doubt it. Yeah, you'll get a knock at your door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyways. Like uh, as I was pointing out, I think that um, if I, I understand what you're saying about if it's like, you know this guy's a flipper, mm-hmm. you know this guy's a uh, a scalper, whatever. Um, why even bother to deal with him at all? Let that stuff pile up in the house. Yeah. Let, let the garage fill up. Don't even buy from them. Yeah. Why, don't bother lowballing them, hoping that they're gonna uh, give in and and give you like the super fantastic deal of like four bucks a piece for origins figures or whatever <laughs> they'll end up on clearance for that anyway eventually yeah but, let uh, it pile up in their garage you wait and long then, enough mm-hmm. and be surprised sometimes they'll sell it but, um, because they're tired of holding on they're like man i thought i was gonna move this product faster than that yeah mm-hmm. let it pile up on them don't even waste your time or theirs yeah with insulting low balls uh but you know if it's a lot of times, like I was saying, mom and pop style, you know, collector hard on his luck, stuff like that. Those low balls, they can hurt. Yeah. They can they can hurt those folks because it's sitting like, oh my God, really? <laughs> you know, it, it's a that another moment of frustration. Mm-hmm. And as you pointed out, maybe uh, some of them are just people just being pricks. Yeah, I think a Lord lot. Lord knows, of there's enough of them. The world I think there's a lot of that going yeah. on, more of that going on than anything. Well, you know, the anonymity of the internet, unfortunately, has made that uh, a very real problem uh, throughout all of social media. You know, through um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you got, because you can pretend to be anybody, you can make any claim you want, mm-hmm. you can insult whoever you want, threaten whoever you want, yeah. um, lie about this and that, and there's there's no repercussions for it whatsoever and that's not a call for any type of oversight because oversight will hurt you and me and not them <laughs> it doesn't work the the deeper uh the the deeper a the government sticks their finger into your pie the dirtier that finger gets mm. <laughs> it just contaminates everything <laughs> But I don't know. Any other thoughts on the subject? No, no. It's just that I think it's, it's it should be looked mm-hmm. at in two different ways and mm-hmm. handled in two different ways. Okay. So that's my only thought. As a buyer. Um, case by case. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially, like I said, if it's a new item that you know should be in the stores and you should just be able to go to your local Walmart, GameStop, Target, and just pick it up, and you can't because the store, the, I, it's, the shelves are clean, but eBay is jam-packed, uh, then you should, you know, go for it. We get comments about that on some of our tour videos when we go to the shows, mm -hmm. and people are like, oh, that's where all the Black Series figures are. or Because there's always that one table that they've got like 800 Marvel Legends, and it's all stuff from like the last year. Yeah. <laughs> you know? like, we went to Where'd one, you get I, these from? I, I'm sure I, I, I uh, taped it. Um, the guy, and... and was I, it the, the retro swap? Yeah, he had every... Black series. One, yeah. every was it black, black series, series. and um, multiples, yeah, yeah, tons and tons, every, and, and he of them. said it because he was talking to somebody while I was filming, mm -hmm. and the guy asked him, "Hey, you got anything new?" He was like, "Oh yeah, I added a few new things," and they were going on about how many it was. I mean, he had this big elaborate setup, and I tried to film the whole thing because we had, we were just talking. Or saw a video about how there's no black series in the stores at all and then we go to this show and this guy got multiples and he said I have every single one yeah he had them all yeah well, as many as you want as far as the eye could see <laughs> <laughs> anyways yeah. anyways thoughts Feel free to post your thoughts in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where we're coming from. You agree, you disagree, hey, tell us what you think. Uh, subscribe if you are new. Mm -hmm. Check out some of the other videos. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Oh,